We're getting breaking news at this point. Misa Bharti's husband, Shailesh, has uh, refused to uh, appear before the Enforcement Directorate. Remember, he was summoned in connection with Benami Properties. He is being uh, questioned. He is under scanner along with his wife for Benami Properties. Remember, it was only on, uh, on Saturday that properties belonging to him and his wife and his family were raided in New Delhi. They were raided in Biswasan. They were raided in Gitorni and also in the Faridabad area and also Senik Farms. These were massive farmhouses which were raided by the Enforcement Directorate. And it's all in connection with two businessmen, the Jain brothers, who uh, are also being investigated for money laundering. Now, this coming just days after, a CA was arrested for, uh, for, for fraudulently laundering up to 8,000 crore rupees. And there is some connection between Misa Bharti, Lalu's daughter, and son-in-law as well. Let's go across to Shavan Sen for the very latest. Shavan, what could be the consequences of this? Not appearing before the Enforcement Directorate, just, uh, just probably 24 to 48 hours after you've been questioned at length. Yes, sir. Shavan, if you can hear us, what will be the consequences for this? What are sources in the Enforcement Directorate saying? The fact that Shailesh is not appearing before the Enforcement Directorate when he was summoned to do so just, uh, just about 24 hours after he was questioned at length for money laundering and Benami properties. Shavan, I wonder if you're with us, just to recap for our viewers, over the last two days, we've seen investigations gathering pace against Lalu Prasad Yadav and his family. First, Lalu Prasad Yadav was raided in connection with a tender that he had awarded to a hotel company when he was, uh, when he was the rail mantri and uh, there was a fraudulent transaction that the CBI was investigating. There were 12 locations that were raided by the CBI. A day after that, the Enforcement Directorate raided farmhouses in Senek Farms, Ghitorni and also the Faridabad area. Farmhouses that were owned by Misa Bharti, Lalu Prasad Yadav's daughter and also his son-in-law, Shailesh. Both Misa Bharti and Shailesh were taken to different locations and questioned at length. And today, Shailesh has not appeared before the enforcement directorate. He was summoned to appear before them for questioning. There would be another questionnaire that he would be subjected to. I wonder if Shavan is with us. Shavan, what could be the consequences for this? What did the enforcement directorate want to know from Shailesh by, uh, by making him appear today? <laughs> All right, uh, we will uh, get you Shavan on the phone and more reactions. But there on your screens, we're getting you pictures from the 8th of July. You can see the Enforcement Directorate team. They're wearing those black jackets. They're entering the farmhouses belonging to Misa Bharti and Shailesh. Uh, remember, Lalu Prasad Yadav has called this political vendetta. He has also targeted Republic's team, calling uh, Republic an anti-national channel. But uh, all that pressure, all that pressure, why is all that pressure being put by the RJD? Uh, don't they have a lot to hide? Remember, Dalu Yadav has been convicted in the Forder scam. The JDU is not defending Lalu Prasad Yadav. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's now get you more details of this story. The latest that we can tell you is that he could be in trouble. Shailesh, the son-in-law of Lalu Prasad Yadav, could be in trouble for not appearing before the Enforcement Directorate because he was summoned today.